when you go through the, the launch day preparations, there's a lot of moments that, that kind of stand out to you. One is the kind of the celebratory piece of it, which is that you're walking out of the suit up room and uh, getting in the vehicle that's going to take you to the launch pad. When you close the hatch, you know, that's really when Doug and I are in the vehicle and it's our vehicle and, you know, we're really in control of the mission uh, at that point. Test pilots, their task proved that man could fly into orbit around the Earth and return live and well to talk about it. There's always a, a balance of managing risk as you go forward to execute a test point and figuring out a way to, you know, collect the data. We hear a sound. Okay, is that sound an expected sound? Or we see a light, is that light an expected light? Um, what's the source of it? Does it sync up with something else that's going on or not? So trying to dissect all of that in real time in your head is, uh, you know, a lot of things happen like that on, a, on launching of a vehicle. From St. Anne, Missouri, he is an Air Force Colonel and flight test engineer. He flew aboard Space Shuttle Endeavor twice, introducing NASA astronaut Bob Behnken. My career at NASA has uh, kind of spanned a, a couple of decades at this point. I, I arrived with the class of 2000, uh, went through the training program, primarily focused on the space shuttle and the International Space Station, learning those systems. Having uh, launched a couple times on vehicles, you know, the, the second time was definitely different than the first time. You can feel a little bit guilty of, hey, should I study one more thing? Or is there one more piece of information I should get? Am I really prepared or not? Um, so that's definitely different between uh, uh, where I was on my first flight and where I'm at right now. It's been uh, uh, really interesting, I think, for both my wife and I to have gone through the process of seeing each other uh, launch in space. I've seen her take that risk and had it be in front of her, and uh, I've done that to her. There's just something different about watching a rocket launch when there are people on board you feel a little bit differently about the pit of your stomach and i can only tell you it's multiplied uh, significantly when it's uh, somebody that you know and then somebody of course that's a family member it's even multiplied more for me personally as a spouse watching um, everything that bob has put into this over the last five years um, the dedication that he's shown the perseverance is pretty special for both of us though, the, the way our minds work, it won't be until sort of the mission is complete that you have really a chance to savor it and celebrate it. This is a huge accomplishment for uh, an Air Force flight test engineer to be part of the demonstration mission of a brand new vehicle. It's going to be amazing. Without a, a partner that has that same appreciation, I think it can be challenging for some folks. There's a, there's a lot of work and a lot of time that uh, takes away from family that, uh, you know, that my spouse appreciates, and I love her for that. Really, my role on the Demo 2 mission is to make sure that we get this vehicle uh, tested and evaluated so that we can move on to more operational missions at the International Space Station. We've got a lot of objectives uh, on board the uh, vehicle that we need to accomplish to, to really make sure that it's uh, good to go. We'll make sure all those systems are working uh, during the test flight so that the future missions uh, will have them available even if they don't plan to utilize them. Through years of the, the NASA team, I'm helping to share that experience and teaching them the lessons that we've learned by going through this. Now there's another capability in the U.S. besides NASA to operate something of this magnitude. When is the last time humans launched on a, a new vehicle? Certainly on the, the American side, it's, it's been several decades. Now we're in a time when we've got started. multiple vehicles under development. It's a great time from a, a space exploration time frame just to see all that happening. And it's because of this nurturing of the environment, being able to pull in a, a wider group of people who can contribute towards a human spaceflight. It's just a, it's a super cool time. On a deeply personal uh, level, I, I'm really excited that my son has got to get a chance to see me uh, launch into space. Being an astronaut has been a little bit of a, an abstraction thing for him because he's seen me do it in old videos, uh, but he hasn't seen me do it for real. And so I'm excited for him to see uh, this launch. I want to thank the entire commercial crew program team that's worked together to get to this point where we've got vehicles in the launch pad ready to head to the International Space Station.